going on? What's going on? I was Ocean. This is Ocean's View the podcast. We have a little brother, Depp and Neps. Yeah, yeah. Also here on the boards. Who are you named? You. As you can see, Donnan, my Patriot, uh, Jersey, uh, Mac Jones for the win today against the, Pitts, the Pittsburgh Squealers. So, appreciate it. You know, you know, we, we try to do favors, but then the Ravens couldn't do us a favor. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> beating down the fence. But that's another story for three hours after this. Yeah, right. But, right. <laughs> First thing I want to say is rest in peace to PNB Rock. Yes, sir. 30 year old artist out of Philly, hip hop RB artist that lost his life to violence out in um, LA in the Fairfax area while him and his girlfriend and his child were at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle. The first part that was a little crazy to me was the fact that the stuff that they had on when they took pictures, were they dressed like that at Roscoe's? Cause it looked like they were like a ball or something. Um, I'm she had not a, a glitter dress on. I mean, you know, people are extra, man. I think that's just you know just what she had on on that that regular day. That's just what she was rocking. Okay, that's, yeah. how, that's how she was getting. That's down. just how she gets. That was her get down, day. man. Yeah, she was just you know high fashion. Okay, well, cool. That has nothing to do with whatever. Right, 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 right. So, <laughs> no, I just want to know. Yeah, right, I just yeah. Want to know, but it was just like you know, I thought that was a little too dressy for for Roscoe's. So, um. Clearly, his sellers wanted his jewelry, yeah. and um, you know, we, I'm gathering he, he didn't comply. Nah, not at all. And he definitely didn't comply, and they took, took his, his life. life. They shot him at least once or twice in the chest, and he passed away. Social media got at her, the girlfriend, yeah. because they claim she dropped the address, the location. Excuse right. me, the location of where they were at. But then a week later, they're saying that P and B Rock. Um, dropped the location, and it's like it was kind of a fake sigh of relief from from um because everybody was so called dragging the girlfriend. Right, right. This was my thing about the location drop thing. Those two young people, P and P and B Rock, no longer here, but his girlfriend. I'm pretty sure she's not. She's probably in her mid twenties, right, something, maybe right, thirties, whatever. Right. They grew up in social media. They grew yes. up with social. Media. Yes. People drop locations all the time. All the they time. Do. Yeah. Like yeah. This, is, this is not new. Um, it, was a, it was a particular comment that was made on a friend's post. And she was saying like, well, you know, she's young. They drop locations all the time. And I remember replying to her. I said, just because something's a habit doesn't leave you. That doesn't, doesn't take away some culpability of things that might happen with it. Yeah. Now, I don't want to for you. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I don't want to make this a whole you got to know better with the locations right. thing. Right. Right. Because okay. it is a habit. Your your muscle memory, mm. that's what muscle memory is. That's what habit forming things are. What I'm saying is this. But they're saying he had an issue before out there with people possibly trying to rob him. Right. But he intercepted it kind of and he knew to leave. Right. Now, the infamous people like to always say that, how how regular we are. I don't really believe in that. I never really believed in that. Especially when you're a person making millions of dollars. Okay. Because a regular person doesn't make millions of dollars. That's let's granted, just, granted. Let's just okay. what it is. I understand what they mean by regular. We're all humans. Nobody can fly and <laughs> shit. I get all that. Okay, all right. I'm talking about when you're in a certain bracket, you're not regular. Got to move People a certain are way. are looking at you the same way as they're looking at me. Right. It's totally different. And I don't know. It's definitely not his fault. He didn't go there to get murdered. She didn't go there. Hopefully it is. But you have to move a lot smarter. Yeah, you, you do. That's what I'm saying. But at the same time, you can't, you know, like, almost, you know, dim your light because, you know, niggas is vultures. Like, you, it, to, to blame her for dropping her location it during some touristy shit, like, that, that's what you, as a, as a, you know, that's what your girl does. Like, y'all go somewhere, and she want to show everybody who follows her what, you know, what they doing. They from Pennsylvania. They went to Roscoe Chicken and Waffles. It, it was, it's a, it's a rite of passage when you're from the East Coast and you go over to, to, to Cali, right? You're supposed to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, now, do I think that he should have, probably put her more on point if he's already had a situation out here when, you know, because 
But LA, that's that's the culture out there. You they they rob niggas. <laughs> that's what happens. They they see you coming from the uh, from the airport, and those calls get made into town. And it's when you ride around in California, you can be on you know Hollywood Boulevard at one point, and you make the wrong turn to a neighborhood, and and that's you know that's just where you are. It's just the the lines you know are, are that that close together there. Um, so like I said, yes, maybe he should have put her on point a little bit more, but you can't you know fault them for for living life. Like they're living life. You you you're supposed to be able to post your location and share with your followers and your fans what you're doing. And like and, and, and shame on people for, for blaming them for, for for experiencing life the way they're supposed to. Right. I don't I don't like ever want to blame the victim. Ever. You know what I mean? Um I, I do believe that, you know, rappers in general should learn from this and move differently. You know what I mean? Because yes. to, to my understanding, I think he moved out there. I think they were living out there. Oh, shit. Okay. And, um, but I, I just think that they should move differently. Like, you don't need to go to Roscoe's with your jewelry on, like, uh, with a bunch of jewelry on. Facts. You know, Facts. You don't need to, yeah, you don't need to move <clears throat> like that. And, and, you know, I, I, as somebody who did really, you know, get paranoid and stuff like that, I, I don't really post my location in real time ever. You know what I mean? Well, ever, I just, yeah, right. I just think that that's that, but that's also generational. That's yeah, the just yeah. yes, generational. That's thing. definitely generational. Yeah. That's definitely generational. But so if it's generational, and once again, these rappers and entertainers see the thing is, I also believe you have to know what level you're at. Yeah, and this is what I mean too. Jay Z can tell you exactly where he's at. You're not getting him. <laughs> and I, it's, it's, it's forget his. His, his rapping abilities. Okay. His power as who he is, his status, he's a billionaire. He can tell you exactly where he's at. It's not happening. It's not happening. Why Why is it we don't hear, and I'm just using Jay, and Jay is probably a bad example, but he's rappers keep, yeah, he's definitely an exception. He's, the exception. he's definitely right, exception. Right, right. Because we don't kill Puff and Jay and people like that for having security. But it no, seems like these younger no. rappers, they're still in these, they're, it's like they're fighting a war within themselves yes. to have security or not have security. Because I personally feel like this. The minute I am worth, I ain't going front. This, I'm going to throw a number out there, hopefully. I can talk it into existence. Let me be worth $10 million. Man. Or even five. Or I'm definitely having security. I'm sorry. I'm having security because your boys are not security. Your boys are exactly that a bunch of dudes that may or may not pop off when it's time to. Right. See, but security, they got arm. Um, you got arm um, security. They will body you and <laughs> and stay there and, and call the and police. The they law. will call the police <laughs> the and be like, "What happened? Law. They tried to get next to Beyonce and Jay." We killed him. He's right here, and everybody's going. You know, how, you know how social media makes that. Well, what do we have for for dinner? They're definitely gonna be on that time. What are we having for dinner? We just have to kill somebody <laughs> earlier. What are we having for dinner? It's right, right, like right. nobody's gonna think nothing. But these younger rappers, they're still like I guess in the mode of building their image. Yeah. So it's like I can't have security with me. Oh, it's it's. No, and it's a I think that now that's. I want you to go. I want you to answer that. My thing is that. Why is it that they feel the need to not have security in these places and they're it's, worth millions of dollars? You know, it's the age old, you know, conundrum, you know, of, you know, like street credibility, you know, and you can't take that shit to any bank in the world and cash it in. Like it's it's the dumbest shit ever. And I don't know who started it, who started the bank of, of street credibility, but you 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 slick motherfucker. Because it it basically stops you from like it 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 forces you to go against your normal logic. Like, mm -hmm. I know that these chains and these rings and these bracelets are not worth my life. They are not worth me not being available in, in the future moments for my children, for my family, or whoever I'm providing for. But street credibility is gone once I let these niggas with guns in my face take my jewelry from me. It's the dumbest shit of all, like, it's, it, it, it's, 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 um, I know that if I go outside and there's three niggas out there that that's ready to fight me, if I don't go outside and fight all three of those niggas, I I, I look weak. 
because true credibility says that I, I have to stand up and fight my battle. No, that's stupid. Why would I walk into a situation where I know I'm going to get my ass whooped? It's, 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 but it's things like that that make you fight against your normal logic because you want to go gain street credibility. But it's, also, but it's also this. What is the actual cost of having things? You see what I'm saying? So no. the actual cost, like, for example, um, security is not cheap. Oh, you no. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, you can get jewelry and <laughs> right. not be able to afford security. Yes, yes. So yes. my thing is, what is the cost of wearing the jewelry? Not the cost of purchasing it, but the, uh, for example, we all get, uh, you, you, you can get a luxury car. You know what I mean? You may be able to afford to, the, to, to obtain the car. Right. But... What is the cost of having that? The car? insurance, you the maintenance, the yeah, the, yeah. the upkeep of because, that. Upkeep, because yep. like you can have this jewelry and stuff, but the, but then some when somebody come up come up on you and take it, then what? Right. Is the is the is the jewelry insured? You know what I mean? It's a cost to to, to everything. You know what I mean? This is why uh, the the average person. This is why I say rappers because the average person don't need to floss every day. Right. You know what I mean? The right. average person don't need to wear jewelry every day we don't need to go to the grocery store and look like a rapper you know what i mean we don't need to go to roscoe's and look like a rapper right you know right. what i mean so so what, what's the cost of being a rapper i'm glad you opened that door for that because it just it just triggered what i was also thinking during the week okay. with all this and it's a it's a color line thing too it's within our community the Two black Americas. community because this is the sad part about it PMB Rock was maybe worth maybe five million or something like that. I'm not saying it low, but because he was a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tom Hanks, ain't nobody robbing Tom Hanks. Ain't nobody, nobody's robbing Leonardo DiCaprio. That's where the bag is at. And I'm not promoting that they should start. But it's like it doesn't even go in that what? that that vein doesn't even work. It, no, what I'm saying is it's going towards what you were saying, the cost of being right. a rapper and having to look right. this way. Right. And it's like a lot of these rappers don't have the money that their image looks. Right, okay. Well, they don't have the money 100%. that their image looks like they have. Kanye West is out. First of all, he's different because everybody knows he's going to let you know what kind of billions he got. Right. But at the same time, even at Kanye's highest point in terms of just him dropping albums and doing stuff, I might have seen him with one chain, one little chain, yeah. and things like that. He was more happy with his polo, mm -hmm. his book bag, and other things some like vintage that. Vintage pieces, some Louis Vuitton. Now, granted, right, right. there was a situation where they said um, Kanye was talking about what Beanie had to step in. Yeah. That was pretty early in his career. Right, right, right. He was right. in Philly, probably. Mm -hmm. at, you know what I'm saying? And Philly don't have all hood spots, but Philly's got his spots. He's got some spots. He's got some, yeah, spots. Spots. Got some common areas. And, and, yeah, he's got some common areas. some areas that you need not to be in at a certain time. Right. And... He did the right thing by calling Beans. Of course. Like, Yo, yeah. get me out of here. Yeah. He didn't, but like this, he did, Kanye could have called the police. Uh -huh. He could have called other security. But he's like, we're in Philly? Right. Let me call Beans. Yeah, right. yeah. Because this is going to get handled on every level. So, because he knew once the story got out, Beans came to the rescue. So now, if you're from Philly, I'm just using this example. Right. If you're from Philly and you're thinking about testing Kanye, Beans is coming yeah. right after you for his, you know what I'm saying, with his mm -hmm. street cred or whatever like that. Yes, sir. But it is in valuable of, in those situations. Now, in terms of those situations, <laughs> right. but for the most part, a lot of these young rappers or just rappers, period, they holding on to this street cred, this mentality, and it's like we're doing it to each other, even with the whole, I'm going to take it back to the Freddie Gray situation, when Freddie Gray, you know, lost his life here in Baltimore and yes. everything. Yes. They closed up everything in all the urban neighborhoods. Yes. In Towson and all other white neighborhoods, they didn't have no curfew. Right. They didn't have the, nobody, they weren't even worried right. about what's yeah. going on there. No. Nah. But it's the crazy thing too. We burnt, we, we, we burnt up stores, Rite Aids, looted CVSs. Casino downtown never got touched. Not even a little bit. We didn't even want to cross the Russell Street Bridge to go over there. You see what I'm saying like that? Once again, because I, I have to clear it up because I don't want people thinking that I'm promoting this is what we is. But it's like, come on. When are you going to realize we're not the enemy? 
That's that's the big that's the big thing. And maybe I'm on this tip now because I did see Woman King earlier. And it's just like, yo, I'm just sorry. Oh, so, oh yeah, and he's throwing that back to Africa <laughs> bullshit. Like, yo, we can't, <laughs> Get we can't keep throwing this to each other, man. Yeah, we can't keep yo. throwing this to each other. That man, that man not, that was gone. I almost took the bait. Well, I almost took the bait. Right, hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Now you know. Now we, I'm just saying. To be over there. <laughs> I'm just saying. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta move better. It's black people. We gotta, Yo, move, we gotta move better. So, woman king is saying we gotta do better. We gotta, we gotta do, do better, better as man. people. We gotta do better as our people, man. We can't, can't keep going to this. And don't right, forget man. the spaceship, <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck All out I'm here. saying is, black people, get y'all shit together. Uh, stop robbing each other, and just stop robbing each other. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, just having a few conversations, and um, shout out to Miss Ivy, Miss Tiana, Ivy, Tiana, intellectual Tiana. vixen. But we got to go there, regardless of the fact. Dating law: Who pays for the date? Is it the person that offers? Do they pay for the date, or? Is it the or if it's a joint conversation, does it does another conversation have to be had? I mean, <clears throat> customarily, um, speaking of which, whoever I guess whoever you know comes up with the idea. Personally, personally, I, that's all I can speak from is personal experience. Um, no matter who kind of initiates the date off the rip, I feel kind of obligated to pay for the first one. Like as a man, I just feel like I I have to pay for the first date, and if I don't want to pay for the date, <laughs> we're not going anywhere. <laughs> I mean, like, the, I don't, yeah, go ahead. The go thing ahead. is this. This is this, this is why I think the line gets blurred. Personally, I believe the guys must always pay. Right. But this is the thing about it. This is where this conversation really starts to come. It's because women will just off top be like, so when you going to take me out? Yeah, right. Guys, we don't like that. Ladies, we don't, like, mm. guys, we don't rock with that. If we want to take you out, we will. You don't have to coach us mm. into exactly. asking you out or doing something like that. See, that's the part that women they don't they don't want to they don't want to hear that. This is the blunt, honest truth of it. Look here. I always say it's two kind of women: eight o'clock and two and, and after two a.m. Yep. Mm. But there are a few more. But the whole thing is this: when a woman be like, "So when are you gonna?" I think that just takes. The authenticity out of the guy asking. And that's the part that I think that turns the guy off. Regardless of the money, regardless of his his situation with anything, guys don't like to be told what to do right. in that respect. Because it's like an ultimatum. Exactly. exactly. It's exactly an ultimatum. It's ultimatum. I'm always going to take the ladder. We right. ain't going nothing. No, we do nothing. No. Right. All right. <laughs> and, and the crazy thing is, so I know a lot of women are going to look at this and be like, if you're broke, then say that then. No. No, I will oh not God. say that. Will not say that because we're not broke. The whole problem is this. First off, the crazy thing is, I wish I wish women could tell me why all women feel the need to get treated the exact same way. Mm. No, I'm just that ass. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? All you bitches don't get the gold. Lost. Yeah, like, right. yo, like some of you is Applebee's bitches. No. Like, yo, for real, like everybody is not, everybody is not Roof Chris. Everybody is not getting the duck. Right, right. Sometimes some of y'all are worth the damn chicken box that you roll here on. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, some of these hoes get still It is what it is. It is what it is. Because it's that like, yo, crazy. no, we're trying to, right now, I'm trying to give ladies a peep into the male locker room. Yeah. Like, look here. There's a lot of conversation in the locker room and the barber shops. We're like, look here, ladies. We're, we're like this. Yo, fellas, I got no problem taking. This is how dudes would do. Dudes would be like, yeah, you know, I got a little date tonight. I'm going to take shorty to such and such. Da, 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 da. We're not there talking about, yo, why you doing that for that bitch? No. Nah. No, nah, not of We like, oh, you clearly like, oh, that's like a cool date. You must, you know what I'm saying? You like it. You're, you're really interested. But if you on the, yo, shorty, shorty ain't really trying to get up with me, so you know, I, had to t I had to take her out. At that point, we like, oh, that's a strike already. We yeah. looking at different, oh, like, yo, yeah. it's all about trends. But, Don't start yeah, a right. trend. <laughs> Don't start a trend that you can't keep up with. Because 
I'm sorry, the ladies is out here getting free meals. That's a killer too. Chicks be out here be wanting free meals and not Dang. interested. Yeah, and yeah. not interested at all in dudes. But my thing is this. I'm going to ask the ladies. I'm going to look at the camera. So was a free meal worth your time? Because you didn't have nothing to do? Like, you can't, like, you can't still be going out with people because, guys, we're not taking chicks out just because we don't have anything to do. Because if we don't have anything to do, we we'll just do nothing or stay home, yeah. go out, stuff like that. We're not going to waste chill. somebody else's time that we're not interested in. Yeah, but you got you to also factor in that. You know, like, like, bitches be starving. Like, yeah. you know, it don't just be that, you know, I'm just, I'm going out just to go out. And eat. No, that bitch is hungry. And that's why she's going <laughs> on that fucking hungry. Day. Yeah, you know, that's, so, you know, that's not just, it's not always just about, you know, I'm going to give yeah. him a shot at my time. Like, no, I'm, I need to eat today. Well, that's, so that's crazy let me call, shit. you know, James. Now, that's a wild concept. That's a wild the concept. The concept is crazy. Calling a nigga because you're hungry. Yeah. That is wild. Like, yeah. it really, if you really think about this shit, you get hungry, you're like, yo, what nigga can I call yeah. to go to, to feed? And they'll me? have a, a roster of niggas who are you know, going to take her out to eat. But who's the fault for that? Is it the lady's fault or is it the guy fault for accepting it? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a trade. You know, sometimes in a trade, you don't get everything that you want, but you do get what you need. So no, it's, no, it's, so it's, you it's, been, a, it's a trade off. No, you're being too nice. You're Am being I? too nice. And I'm going to tell you how you're being go ahead, too go ahead, nice. Go ahead. I'm going to tell you you're being too nice. Here you go. This woman knows she has no interest in this dude beyond this meal. The dude knows. As a man, you should know when a chick is interested and when she's not. Me, personally, I know when somebody's interested in me and when they're not interested in me. You know how I know when they're interested in me? Mm -hmm. When they have sex with me on the first night. That's how <laughs> that's I know they're interested. The only way they can be interested. That's, that's how you know, huh? That's, that's how it. I feel. All right, okay. All right no. Cool. Okay. okay, but outside of that, outside right. of that, the whole thing is this. When a woman be like, I'm busy, I have things to do. No woman is never too busy for the person that she's interested in. Okay. I don't care what her job is. I don't care what her job is. No woman is too busy for the guy that she's actually um, interested in. You can be a bugaboo. You can only be a bugaboo when, it's a, when, when she's not that interested in you. When she likes you, you can call a thousand times a day. And she ain't, she's going to find an excuse on why it's cool for you to call her. Mm. See, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yo, we got to stop. We got to stop lying to it about and allowing the ladies to lie to us about their level of interest. And especially, guys, you got to start seeing through this, too. You got to know, Kings, you have to start knowing why that you're that Listen. person. Why no, you're the special one. Know, we need a whole type of alarm. Like, we need, we need a whole type of alarm. Immediately, we got to queue it up in the soundboard. I should have never, yeah. never, <laughs> never seen Woman King. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Man King in here. <laughs> the rest of the goddamn show. Yo, I'm just saying, we gotta, you got to start knowing your own value. That's what I'm saying with dudes. So, know your own value. So what you're saying is, we need to start asking these chicks when they taking us out, huh? Right. No, not particularly when they're going to take us out. What I'm saying is this. Don't go out with the ladies when you know they're not that interested. You got to have something. Now, I was joking a got little you, bit. Got you. Joking a little bit about the sex thing. Because that does have something to do with it. But even that has a flaw in it. Because the same way little brother Devin Epps said, these women got to eat, they got to get laid too. Yeah. So sometimes I might have got some pity box because they ain't have no they had no dick in about six months. And I just so happened to be the dude. I but took see it. But was, see that right there ahead. is the the the, the opportunity because we all know that you can you can talk yourself out of this pussy, but you can also talk your way out of it as well. So when you take that that chance on the dinner date, that's when you get your opportunity. That's the trade right there. I've got an opportunity for box. You get your guaranteed meal. We got ourselves a deal here. No, I ain't doing that, yo. <laughs> nah, the crazy crazy thing is this. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, no, I'm not. It's just that I I'm not taking you out. If I'm not that interested, or if you're not that interested on the chance that I could get some box, like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. How are you? Okay, bet. All right, let's be let's be straight up. All right, you know when somebody's interested. I know when somebody's interested. At least when y'all don't have to speak all the time because the person, the lady, might be busy mm -hmm. and she might have she might have kids and stuff. So you got to factor these kind of things in. Okay. But a woman that's really interested in you. They'll do just enough to at least let you know, don't give up on me. I'm kind of busy, but I think of you, and I'm trying to get in contact. Now, the problem goes to this. 
when you start having these conversations and you're giving up vulnerable parts of yourself to somebody that's kind of like, ah, I kind of didn't want to go this deep oh, no, into no. the conversation, right, right, right. but you know, now I'm kind of got to fall back. So it's like, I guess it's all individualized and in how you do view yourself because that, that has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, she calling me now cause she want me. No, maybe she's bored. Maybe she wants something to eat. It's not too much to overthink. But at the right. same time, I just feel the same way they say, you ask somebody when they're in love, what do people always say? You'll just know it. I feel you'll just know it uh -huh. when you know somebody's interested or not. And then if not, but most dudes, they go and take them out on these dates yeah. and they're going to feed into the well, narrative. Interested, God damn it. Hopefully wishing they said they can get the box. I'm big on time. Yeah. I'm big on time. Go ahead. So answer this. Yeah. yeah. Has has a chick ever taken y'all out on a date, like taking y'all out and paid? Um, yeah, I've had, I've had, I've had a few take me out on dates and stuff. I don't think it was particularly called a date. I've been on an outing because it wasn't nothing that was really too exclusive. It was kind of like, oh, right, I'm gonna keep it on you. It was kind of like she called, hey, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, I'm just chilling. Now at this point, this particular um, young lady, I was kind of like, you know, she playing games. She, mm -hmm. cause I shot my shot. That's the thing. When niggas shoot, they shot. Yeah. If, mm -hmm. if 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 it don't, if you don't go all net, in our minds, it's a mess. We don't care how it mess. We don't care if it's a right. rollout right. backboard. We, you didn't hit your 100%. shot. Right. That's it. Right. So when they call, you kind of like. Really, right, what's what this you really about? Want? Because I tried, you weren't interested, and they never explained to you why they weren't interested or they don't right. tell you that they had something else going on. 100%. They just put out there, you know, the vibe is I'm not that interested. So she's called and been like, you know, what you doing tonight? I was like, I'm mad cold, like nothing, what up? <laughs> right, like, right. Just, cause at what this do you point, want, T-shirt? Like, yeah, so I'm like nothing, I'm like nothing. She's like, um, I was thinking that I want to get something to eat. I ain't really hungry. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really that hungry means I ain't paying for shit. Yeah, you right, go right. get something to eat. She was like, nah, you know, you don't want to eat nothing. You know, I'm paying for it. Now I'm like, oh, oh okay. Oh, well, fine. At this point, I'm like, well, since I'm not losing any money, hmm, what did I have to do? Nothing. Mm -hmm. So fine. I can go a few hours with this young lady. Let's just see where it's at. Because I'm going into it like, Look here, you don't even like me like that anyway. Yeah, it's house money, baby. So what? Yeah, house money. House, house money. House baby. money. Yeah. And it's turned into, we went out, she paid for it, we got there, we chilled out, and I wound up hitting it later that night. Now, part of me was like, I thought she's horny. You're right. She hasn't had any yeah. dick. She ain't have no dick. That's exactly what it is. And yeah. it's nothing wrong with that. Have I been used for sex before? Yes, we've used women for yeah, sex. Right. It happens. I'm definitely all for the woman empowering themselves to give up yeah, the box. I prefer it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, we actually prefer <laughs> it. But at the same time, don't we nobody wants their time wasted. That's that's just the bottom line. Nobody wants their time wasted. Facts. So I don't know what you want to do. She took you out and wind you and dined you. She definitely wind and dined. She night. basically she <laughs> wind and dined me. And she definitely she <laughs> she got she got laid at the end of the night. Right. She got no, laid. Nigga, no, no, yo, I would say I, yo, yeah, I would she say no. got laid. Yeah, right. She got laid. Nigga. She got laid. <laughs> you got fucked that evening. So. <laughs> yeah, right. I was a cheap floozy. She yeah, gave up. Yeah, yeah. I gave up the drawers. And she put me. She put me in her book as GTD. Yeah, humped and dumped you. Yeah, humped and dumped on her real quick. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I didn't get nothing else out of that one. Yo, that's crazy. I, I I I never like got taken out. I, my wife, of course, but right, I, right. I never got taken out on a date like where I didn't pay. That's it's, it's a weird concept to me that like a woman asking you out on a date and then taking you out like do you, do do you owe them some dick? That's that was my mentality. I'm telling y'all, having y'all read my. Yeah, I'm, right, you I'm telling you. That is the tip of the Yo, <laughs> when I was broke, and that's and that's what you call it subjective, because some of y'all might still think I'm broke now. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just saying, when I couldn't even really afford to really be taken out women and things like that, oh, don't get it twisted. You have a job too. Or whatever. 
they will take me. I, I've had more um, stories of, you know, women take me out because I just didn't have the money. I was straight. This is when you know where you were at. They was like, yo, you want to go out somewhere? I'm like, I ain't got no money. Like, I straight tell them because I, I don't need them. When we get in there, nobody's doing dishes. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, this. Oh, you know, you know when you broke. You know when you broke. The minute this is when you know you ain't got no money. When you start searching places, you know damn well they ain't got money yet. You just like, well, first off, this is why is it, why is it whenever somebody loses something or they're looking for money, the first thing they do, I've never seen nobody carry money up here. But the first thing somebody does, Hey, like this shit right here. Well, where my shit at? Check, where my check shit the, like Check the little pocket right here above the, the big pocket. You don't pocket. know where no money is at or nothing. So it's just like, nah. Oh, like I said, there's a lot of empowered women out here that are doing their thing. So the least I can do is give you the, the eight is enough from what I've heard. So, oh, you know what I'm saying? So, on, yeah. you know, Jesus we can, Christ. We, we can go we can go that Jesus. route. And, you know, that's that's about it. Eight is enough is a wild quote, yo. We're not using that. We're not going back. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Age old argument. Men versus women, Venus and Mars, we get all that. Okay. We've always heard things like women that think like men. Devil's advocate. Do you think us men need to start thinking more like women mm. along the lines? Because I'm here trying to find the perfect groove for men and women to coexist with with the least resistance ever. Now, part of me believes the resistance is necessary. Okay. We need that balance in life. Yeah. But I think one of the things that I think I look at women sometimes and I'm like, the two are mutually exclusive. Maturity and experience. Age and experience. Okay. Because a lot of times you will hear women make comments like, um, well, at this age you should know you should know these things. And I don't particularly believe that. I kind of cringe a little bit every time a woman says that so nonchalantly about a guy not doing something. Mm -hmm. Because the first thing I always go to is maybe he's never had that experience. I'm big on you have to walk those shoes for you to know the rights and the wrongs of, a, of any situation. But I believe women, their thing is, once you get to a certain age, it's like these things are automatically somehow ordained in you. <laughs> right, you know what I'm be. saying? You're just going to know it, uh -huh. and it doesn't matter. And I'm like, they don't get it. This is why you have the 40-year-old that's still acting as if he's in his 20s. And I don't think it's a level of maturity all the time in terms of they're just choosing to behave that way. Right. Mm -hmm. I kind of believe like this is their growth period. Yeah, it's just this is season. how their this is how their life has been moving them. Now, with me being my age, I be I, when I go out sometimes, I look at um I see other groups of guys out, uh -huh. and I've been to a, a few events that was pretty much forty and over. Okay. And I'm in the bracket. Right. But I still didn't feel as old as them. Like, I felt I was, like, one of the more immature guys that was in there. <laughs> I said, I'm old, but I ain't old. Like, I ain't old. No, like it wasn't. And I, and, I, and I get it. But it's just, I feel like when I look at, when I think of people, once they get, when you start off, when you're 20s, your 18s to your 25s, you're 20 deep. When you go out. Oh, facts. Yes. yes. You right. got it. That's all. Everybody's thing. got time. Everybody's got every, yeah, Everybody's available. Crew. Everybody's you with available. A crew. Everything is yo. The crew is going out. Uh-huh. But the older you get, those numbers start dropping. Yeah. Now, once you get into your 40s, now you can have a group that goes on trips. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the money is finances are there. If you have a, that kind of crew that people are working, they got their money, they take time off, they you can do that. But let's talk about outside of that. Okay. I feel that movie, what was it? Um, Not Four Brothers, The Brothers. The Brothers. Okay. Morris Chestnut, the Black Shamal Black. Moore, yeah. D.L. Hewley, and Bill Bellamy. Bill Bellamy right. You have to have four, it's four people. That's it. That's your crew when you get into your four. That's, that's the limit. That's the, that's the limit. Go. That's the highest you can go. Four niggas, that's it. Because the whole thing is, I always believe it has to be an even number two because Two of the people are always going to be closer 
than the whole group. Okay. It just happens that way. Like when when I was growing up in New York and everything, um, you have four buildings. You have four buildings: two twenty five, two thirty five, two forty five, two fifty five. Okay. The people that lived in two twenty five. Regardless, they seem a little closer than the people that lived in 235. Now, we're literally talking, oh, my God, we're talking maybe 200 feet mm -hmm. in between each building. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy. We all done played around every building, but it's just a relationship. And then they went even further because I lived on a higher floor, and it said that the dudes on the lower floor were a lot cooler with each other. Right. And I'm not saying that that was the rule, but that's just kind of how... Guys go. We go with familiar, uh, familiarity a lot, uh -huh. and we go with, okay, we kind of got these things in common. Uh -huh. So with the maturity with things, when we talk about with, with, with the maturity, everybody doesn't have the same experiences all the time. Everybody's not dealing with women the same way. And I believe a lot of times women are dealing with, pe with guys that just haven't had the experience to what they're looking for. So, so give me an example of something that a woman would say a guy should know. Right. Uh, 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 because I say that to say this. I, I tend to agree with women sometimes when you know you say, "Yo, you should know something." Yeah, you, gotta, you know yeah, what I right, mean? Right. So give me give me an example of of something that a woman would say, "Yo, you should know this." You know what I mean? Well, outside of things like their birthdays and anniversaries and shit like that, feelings, mm. feelings. You should know how I feel about this. And they'll bring up a situation where they might have felt the way, but if we didn't agree with, if we felt that they overreacted in that situation, right. we're kind of taking it as, I understood you may not have been the fondest of that situation, but I also feel you overreacted. I feel, I feel that women. Um, what mm -hmm. you said one of the examples. Yeah. Oh, we should know when enough's enough with everything. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like oh, we yeah. should know when oh, enough's yeah. enough with everything. Whatever and whatever thing is, we should know when enough's enough. Um, yeah. You can go through a thousand examples of it, but the thing about it, I want to ask them too. So. I personally feel, what do you feel about when women, they they kind of put you in a situation where it's like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Oh, yeah, you know, that's that, that catch-22. Um, mm -hmm. When it's, if you, you know, honestly, if, it's, if you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, it might be time to just remove yourself. Like, because I can't, I can't win for losing. So let's just go ahead and... So you're just going to quit? Yeah, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back the fuck out. I'm going to I'm gonna tip my hat and say, you know, that <laughs> it is what it is at this point. Um, you have to have some sort of, you know, it's a relationship. Things should be reciprocated. So if I feel like I'm, I'm losing in every decision I make, then it's, it's time to go because I'm not about to be miserable for nobody. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, it's, um, I don't think in terms of wins and losses because when you're dealing with women, right, Yeah. it's always a catch-22. Always. You always, always. do damn if you don't. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, uh, it's more compromise. It's more like, can I live with this? You know right, what I mean? and, right, and instead right. Instead of, you know what I mean? Like, for almost everything, it's never going to be, it's always a catch-22. It's always, every situation is like, you can't win. Who you compromises more? Who com Men or women? Who compromises yeah. more? Well, I'm a man. Yeah. So, I'm always going to say men. You know what I mean? Um, so, I don't know. I think women might compromise a little more than us. They might. It might be like how so? Yeah. It might. It might be. It like me, brother. 40. I still think men. I think we compromise a lot, but I think I think it's a little more sixty forty women compromising. I think I think men compromise uh, seamlessly. I think <laughs> men uh, compromise and it don't look like a compromise. Right. I think right. women don't understand how much men. Facts, and because it's not really, it's not really a compromise. We just, we just eat a lot. Like we going, uh, I'm gonna eat that one. I'm gonna right, eat that. Right. And so it's, it's like it's, it's that's almost it suffering in yes. silence because we're yeah. not like, and that's why when we are ready to speak up, it's almost like a blow up because like, no, I took this, I took that, I took that, and I didn't even right. say shit. 
But now I feel like you're taking my kindness for weakness. Because at, at some point in time, and we talked about this kind of last week, it's like you you sacrifice, you sacrifice, you sacrifice. And when you look up, like, damn, this ain't even how I operate. I'm not even, I, that's not even me no more. You just opened up, you opened up the can of worms because the simple fact, I, I 100% believe that when you don't tell a woman some of the things that she does to kind of get under your skin or things that can be done better, they assume that they haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when we actually say something, it's like, well, why, why didn't you say this before? Because I don't want to say it every single time you do it. Right. I try to, what men do, we give women room. We try to give them room to self-evaluate <laughs> and self-correct. So that's what and, you're doing? You like, you like doing they that? Actually, I don't, they do that? I don't think I don't know. <laughs> oh. I, I leave. I know I try to leave women room to self correct and self evaluate. Now the problem is how many actually do it, like you said. Because if they do something ten times and we're sitting there like, mm, you haven't. But we don't ever take the stance of you should know this. We may think it, but we look like she's got to figure this out at some point or whatever. Because yeah. I think the problem is when a woman says it to us in terms of in terms of what we should know and how we should move. A lot of times, lady, that's not rooted in not knowing. A lot of times, that's just rooted in, in consideration. Consider it, because I don't think nobody's purposely trying to do these things. But, you know, men have a certain level of selfishness in them, as yeah. does women yeah, and in I, terms I, of that. But I th- we're I, gonna, we're, they're going to bring it up. We're not. Right, and that's and that's and that's, but that's a, a deficiency on our part as men, where we need to, you know, verbalize more when things are, are bothering us, so that they don't get to blow ups. But we're told we, but but if we, but if we verbalize too much, we're being too chatty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, being fuck you chatty. if you feel like that. Like, and that's and honestly, and if you're sharing, you know, what bothers you, then that person doesn't value your feelings or your your thoughts as a human being. What is like, what, what if it's not? What if it's not like? They not big things. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, you could literally just be. Some days you could just be saying stuff all day. Like, yo, what are you doing? That's crazy. Why would you say that? Why would you do this? That's wild. Like, you don't want to do that. Yeah, but but it's like when you don't and you eat it over a while. It's like those those subtle nuances. Like, okay, we 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 winning big right now. Let's. I always got to take things to sports analogy. So let's say we're with dream team right now. We first got together. So we're winning big, but you see those little deficiencies that we have as a team. Like, ah, we're not, we not closing out on defense. And we're not, we're, not, we're not taking care of the ball when we're passing. And we win it now by 30, so it don't matter. But when it comes down to the clutch and in those serious situations when I, I'm depending on you and you still can't make these decisions or you, you're coming up short in, in, the, in, the, in the important times, that's where you get your blow ups. That's where you get, you know, where you guys can't can't co- you know, can't can't win. You can't win together. Because all of those things that you let go, you know, throughout throughout when y'all were winning big, are now the issues when everything's tight. If you right. get where I'm do you get where I'm going I here? Which, I, yeah. I, I get where you're going and I and, and I agree, but you gotta understand some people's game is their game. You know what I mean? Uh, like, some, some people's game is their game and for uh you may be a shooter. Uh, or you may you may slash, but you don't got the best jump shot. But you got great defense, uh-huh. and you a team is a team. You got to take the good with the bad. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like so, uh, so you can't just you can't just kill somebody for you know not having the best defense when they giving you dumb points. Yeah, you see right, what I'm saying? right, 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 right. Like that's what I mean by it's always a catch twenty two. You uh-huh. take the good with the bad. Right. And I said, well, yeah, to, to pick you up back off that point, it's like everybody got their shit with you. With them, you got to just pick the one that you can, you know, yeah, deal with the Yeah, the problem most. is, what happens when you believe that you're a person that doesn't have shit with you? That's the Damn. problem, too. See, that's Damn. the thing about it, too. I've always said, see, like I said, this is this is a, like I said, for the ladies watching, this is a peep inside the locker room, just being honest. And because I, I don't want people, I don't want the ladies to feel that we're just attacking them because none of the ladies are here. No. We have all respect for the ladies Tag and women. Yeah, no, that's but what we do. Full press. This is how we're talking. <laughs> so the whole thing is this. I've always said a woman's kryptonite is a man that communicates. Always said that. Because the guy that can express himself, they love that 
until you express yourself too much. And this is the line that we have to draw within ourselves because, once again, we don't want to, first off, as men, we don't want to say something every single time. We do eat a lot. Now, that's not to say that women don't, but we eat a lot too. The things about it is this. It's how we eat our situations as opposed to how they eat theirs. Right. We may eat ours and we're silent for maybe a couple of minutes because we got to talk ourselves down. Like, don't respond. Don't say anything. You know you're right. It's okay. So you're going to avoid an argument by keeping it quiet. But a woman, she might express us, but it's going to be a whole bunch of, I just can't take this shit no more. And I, everything just goes to the extreme. I can't take this shit no more. And they might say it after you done pulled in the drive through for some, <laughs> for some food. And you sitting there all dumbfounded like, what the fuck? You can't take it. If you didn't want these goddamn fries, yeah, take you should have said something. Take what, but it'd be about something else. <laughs> they should be about something totally different. But we, we, we've already passed that point. Because I believe we allow things to bubble, but then we like, ah, we brush it off a lot more easier than the ladies do. Oh, yeah. And I believe if the ladies would just actually have not as much conversation, but, hey, say what you got to say. In the words of Will Smith, I'm a man. When do I get things right the first time? <laughs> a woman has to understand that, guys, we're going to fuck up. We're going to be inconsiderate. We, we can use Will Smith now? Oh, yeah. I, oh, no, there's no we. I've always... Will Smith is one of my top three persons ever, so it is what it is. I, it is what it is. I draw the cancel line right there. Like I'm not <laughs> yeah, cancel Will. Right, yeah. He's done too much good in the world yeah. to cancel Will. Yeah, yeah, one smack is not going to nah, erase everything else. Right. Yo, I'm so glad Will is back then. Yeah, so, right. Yeah, Will's back. That's official. That's We've officially brought Will back. This is this is the official coming out party of Will Smith. Will, come back. You're good with us. Good with us. <laughs> good with us, Will. Good with us. Yo, like to thank everybody that's been subscribing. Oceans View, Oceans View the podcast, Oceans View at Oceans View on IG, um, and Ocean 149 on IG as well. We're on TikTok as well at Oceans View. Um, just, subscribe to, just subscribe to the YouTube. Um, we got some other things coming up, so just keep supporting. We're going to keep bringing out these bangers, and we're going to see y'all later. Thanks.